I lived in Abbotsford my freshman year and it was nice getting the community sense there, but I still didn't really have a sense of community until my sophomore year. I moved into a living learning community in Stras University at Nuestro Hogar and it was a all Hispanic floor. So it was like so nice to like be surrounded by my culture and like being able to talk and relate to people who are going through the same thing as me. Oh, that's so cool. So you didn't start off in a living and learning community? No, originally I lived in Abbotsford. So I also really liked Abbotsford because it's an all freshman dorm, which was so nice because yeah, like it's nice living with sophomores also, but they also just kind of stay to themselves. And like, as freshmen, we were all in the same classes together. We got to know each other. So it was nice, but moving into a living learning community, it was so different. Like there were retreats, everyone talked more, there was more open doors. It was really nice being somewhere more welcoming. So if someone wants to live in a living and learning community and they're coming to Marquette, how do they do that before they even arrive on campus to do that their first year? So you could look up um, living learning communities at Marquette and there'll be a website there and there's many um, living learning communities. I know there was one for engineering, nursing, the Nuestro God, and I'm probably missing some other ones, but it's a really nice experience. Like being an engineer and living on a learning community, everyone's in the same class. Everyone can help each other. Same thing with the nurses. They all help each other. They all study together. Nuestro God, all the Hispanics are together. Everyone appreciates the culture. So it's really nice. 